so it was time to make some more potting soil and I've had so many requests of how I make potting soil for my herb container garden and my green stock system also my pepper container garden and so I wanted to take you along with me and show you how I do it I do it really basically about the same way I do Mel's Mix and you guys have seen me do a video or two on how I make Mel's Mix the only difference really with my container garden soil is I reuse my old potting soil so I'll get to that in just a minute but I start out really by mixing up all of my compost and I have about five different kinds here which is recommended in the square foot garden book on how to make Mel's Mix so I'll pick up five completely different kind and the easiest way to mix these up is just to take a tarp and pour them out, rake them up together a little bit just so they are a little bit more of a fine powder and not big clumps and then you can take your tarp and on one side just fold it over and this is in your square foot garden book and then it will just come together beautifully. It's a really nice and easy way to mix up your soil it's really easy too if you have somebody else on the other side so get some helpers for that and I'm making a lot of soil so I needed all that compost now first thing I'll do is dump out my potting soil from my old containers and if you happen to see something like this you do not want it that is the chrysalis for the hornworm and a lot of times I see these in my container garden I'll see them on my tomatoes or on my peppers and sometimes they get parasitized by a wasp and so they die. This is a picture of some wasp cocoons on a hornworm. So it won't live through the season, but there are some that will drop into the soil. And that's when they turn into a little chrysalis and they emerge in the spring and summer. So we don't want that. So I got rid of that. And now I'll just add some compost to my old potting soil. I happen to have some perlite as well, so I threw that in here. That is certainly something that you don't have to buy for the container mix. So you could just throw in a bag of potting soil, and a lot of times it has a very uh, high amount of perlite in there along with other things. So that might be a good additive to this mix if you don't want to buy just a bag of perlite. The perlite is going to help the soil drainage okay and so now we'll put in some peat moss and you see how dusty it is you don't want to breathe this in so wear a mask or make sure you have a hose nearby and if you missed it it will help weight it down and it won't fly through the air when you're mixing it just keep misting it lightly don't you don't want it soggy but just mist it so it's controllable and then in goes some coarse vermiculite and this will help retain moisture in the container so that they don't dry out on me and we'll just give it a good mix and into my new green stock system it goes I hope to share this with you later on this summer and I also used it to fill up my pepper containers because you guys know I like to grow in these little three gallon containers peppers and tomatoes and cucumbers so there you go I hope that you guys can give it a try and don't forget to hit that bell right next to the subscribed button if you haven't already and you'll receive all notifications for my channel thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day